Namaste, blessings and greetings, my angels. I am Tigra. This is Sacred Sagittarius Angels Answers All, your Sagittarius channel here on YouTube. Please stay at the end of the video and I'll give you some more information regarding the channel if this is your first time here. This is going to be your mid-month update in your karmic reading. This is your karmic energies, whether it pertains to you or someone that you have been involved with in the past. Could even be karmic energy for a present lover, but usually it tends to be more karmic energy regarding past lovers, with a little bit sometimes of it pertaining to you as well. You will know as you hear the reading how it applies. Cause of blessing, pray for as they always are. Let's cleanse the energy. Take breath in, exhale out. Let's receive this message. It is a general message for entertainment purposes only. So receive it in love and light and know that not everything will apply to you. But I truly do believe what is to be shown will be known and what is not to be revealed at this time will not be shown. Okay, so let's first start with the overall energy. I'm going to go to the tower and as you know, I don't have a particular way that I do my readings. I just go with what I feel and I'm guided to intuitively. Um... So let's see what uh, the overall energy is for this karma reading mid-month update. So we start out with the card of the page of pentacles. Followed by, I think I'm holding my deck upside down, the five of cups. And the knight of swords. Yeah. This is definitely about someone who got away, someone that left. Um, you, you, you still feel some way about it, you know? For, even for some of you, I feel like you feel like they owe you something. Um, it, mo monetarily, in a sense. Um, I don't know if some of them left you owing you money. Or you feel like you you felt like you put a lot of money, you you put a lot of time and energy, physical, tangible things into this relationship, and you feel like this person just kind of left you, with no regards, no regrets. So you still you you it's very important to you for some reason, um, that you feel that they've learned their karmic lesson, or that they paid for. It. What they've done to you comically and you know a lot of us as we go on with our lives we don't you know forget we do forgive somewhere along the line but we don't forget um these feelings do stir back up where we wonder like oh i wonder if he or she got what was coming to them i wonder if they finally paid the price for all that they've done not only to you but probably to other um partners that they've had in their life and you still have that that bitter heartbreak in your heart when people disappoint you especially when you've put in a lot of love and attention into them when you help people to grow and you made them a better version of themselves than what they were when you first met them and they move on to someone else especially if you hear like oh they're doing really great that hurts you know what i mean so it's not that we wish people harm or that we wish them unhappiness but yes you know we do want them to recognize and acknowledge the hurt and disappointment that they've done to people um when they've used people in in that regard so that's one of the reasons why we do these karma readings to give us some consolation to give us some insight as to where they might be in that process and also in a way to to help us release and to continue just living our lives and, and trusting that the universe will take care of them once and for all so i'm going to use um my karma deck that i created and then another deck that i have dealing with karma and no, the decks that I make, I do not sell. I make them only for me. It's a very expensive process, as many of you know, if I have content creators watching me, to make and sell decks. And most people don't want to pay the prices that it would take to sell them. So no, I, I just use the decks that I create for my channel and my clients only. Okay, let's see. What is this karmic energy? First, we get to call it people are leaving them a lot. 
So people are not staying in their lives. So either they're finding them out for who they are early, okay? Which for you, you know, even though you, you, you're left with the broken heart, you know, and they ran away and left you. Now they have people running away and leaving them. You know, you might have been the type of person which sad you saw. We give people so much time, so much rope to hurt us, unfortunately, until we finally walk away or, or they just run away and leave us. But these new people that they've been dealing with or dating or talking to, they're not giving them that much time. They're finding out right away from day one who they are and they're they're leaving them they're ghosting them they're like just nope and in a lot of cases too if they were dating someone or cheating on you with someone else this third party already knew what they were dealing with because they were cheating you know with them against you so they already knew what type of person they were dealing with so it's not going to take long for them to put two and two together if they're repeating that behavior on them now. So yes, a lot of people are leaving them when it comes to their love life. And even it could be even their friends and family not supporting them because they've had enough of the way how they conduct themselves hurting people. That's followed by bank account and a negative no money. Wow. So remember I said you felt like they robbed you. They, they kind of took physical, tangible things from you. You felt like you invested a lot of money. There's still, <laughs> whatever you did for them, that that's long gone, okay? These other women or men that they might have encountered since you might not have been that generous. Or if they had, they've already blown that. So they're right back to square one. They're not in a good state financially either. So they have people living, leaving them, so no one's supporting them emotionally, right? And now they have people leaving them in the sense that there's no one there to help them financially either. You also get the card constantly stuck in their head, mind, feelings, and thoughts about you. Yeah, as they should, because you know what? When you hurt God's children, when you hurt good people, you know, I don't care what type of beast you are or how bad you think you are we all were created from god and at some point you have to pay the piper at some point your karmic lesson is going to come at some point you're going to have to dig your head out of the sand and acknowledge and even though they might never outright come to you and say they're sorry or apologize they will apologize out loud to the universe of God and realize what they did to you. And it's going to come back to haunt them as people do leave their lives, as they find themselves still stuck financially, missing your support, missing your genuine help and love. You wasn't just helping them because you loved them, but you actually cared for them as a human being. So yeah, all those good things you did, all those beautiful things you said and you provided for them and the love and encouragement that you were there, you know, how you stood by their side. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't stand by their side because of the way how they are, you know. And these things come back to haunt them. It could be months, days, or years later. It does come back to haunt them. So yes, you are constantly on their mind, reminiscing about all the things that they missed that was good about you, all the things that they took advantage of, you know what I mean? And not realizing the gem that they had in their life. But the final card from this deck, wow. I'm not even gonna say that verbally. I'm just gonna let you see that, okay? I pray that that's not the case. Okay. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Let's just, you know, Heavenly Father, we pray for good things for everyone. Even if they've hurt us, we don't wish no harm upon them. So, yeah. Okay. You know, but if they have a car and that happens, the car is not going to get, the car's not going to make it, you know, and that's going to be, again, another expense now, because if you have a totaled car and they need their car for work or, you know, they need their car just to get around, they need their car, period. You know what it is to have to get a new car and they don't have insurance, so, yeah, mm, that's sad. Okay, let's go with my deck for the final messages i see you're enjoying your life without me i can only hope you'll miss and want me again so some of you this is the feeling you've been walking around with 
you know, kind of silently in your soul. But as you can see from the other cards that have come out, they really have invented. Even if they brag on social media, you see them with a whole bunch of women. Or if it's a, you know, a guy, you see them with a whole bunch of new girls and stuff. Don't believe the hype. Most of the stuff that you see on social media is so, you know, it's, it's so hyped up. It's, it's so... It's fantasy. It's make believe. It ninety percent of this stuff isn't true. These people are not, you know, living these lives. You know, a lot of things are on borrowed time, so to speak. So don't don't let that get to you. And one way you can avoid letting that get to you: stay away from their social media. So this way you don't know what's going on in their lives. And if they're friends or your mutual friends or your family members, and someone else happens to see them or hear something say i don't want to hear it you know that chapter is closed i don't want to hear it so this way that's a great way for you to avoid seeing these pictures which again are misleading of course they're going to put the good stuff out on social media they're not going to put that people are leaving their lives left and right they're not going to put that you know they're stuck financially Okay, they're going to put the good stuff because remember too, they want to advertise to draw in the next victim. <laughs> Your next card is, I thought this fling you had was over, apparently not, you liar. So for those of you who have not parted from someone or you took someone back, on the strength that you thought they changed, on the strength that you had forgiven them, if, it's a, if this was a third party breakup, you're going to find out. They're still seeing that person. Even though they told you they're not. That's not cool, but, you know, that's what liars do. They tell you right in front of your face. One day, don't know when, but I do know you will pay for all the hurt and pain you caused me. Well, with a lot of the cards that have come out already, they will. It's just a matter of time. Some of them have already paid for it. And then finally, you knew you were getting into when you met me. This, you know, let's talk about this a second. Because that's such a cop-out. You know what I mean? Like, that's the lazy way out to kind of, like, put the blame on you. Well, you knew I was a bad apple. You knew I was a womanizer. You know, you knew I dated a lot of guys. You knew I, you know, I was around the way girl or whatever the case is. So, oh, because we knew this, that means we should be at fault for all the things that you did to us. Yes, we should accept responsibilities at some point of letting people come into our lives and not catching the red flags and everything. But hey, what about you just being a miserable person? <laughs> You know what I mean? A miserable fuck to begin with. Excuse my language. What about that? You just being a bad apple to begin with. What about you cleaning up your act, especially when you know you are just breaking hearts left and right. You're just using people left and right. So yes, many of us do know what we're getting into with most people. But again, as a Sag, and as most men and women we feel we can change people we can help them we can mold them into this person that we fantasize or we see them as being so yes we do know that how you were and what you were and what you were capable of but to some extent a lot of women and men don't and it's to some extent we do but we don't really ever believe it's as bad as it as your ex or other people say until we experience it but like i said through all of this, that's like the scapegoat way of, of, of not taking the blame. But, you know, they, they're paying for it. Many of them are paying for it. The people are leaving their lives. They're not staying with them. Their money's not doing well. Potential for, you know, other big losses coming in their life in physical ways. And through all this, you know, you're going to be stuck in the head. The memories and thoughts of you are going to be stuck in their head because a lot of them are going to be like, oh, well, why is this happening to me? And if they have a conscience and they, you know, at some point they really open up their eyes, they have to admit and know it's because of what they did to people in the past, what they've done to good people in their lives like you. So karma is a bitch and she does come um there's no time or method to it but when she comes she comes and she comes to collect her debt so thank you for watching 
don't spend too much energy worrying about what karma people get but know that it exists and when it comes to them it will come in its due time. You just continue to live your life, pray for peace and happiness, and don't worry about their karma. They're living it out every day. You'll never know most of you, but trust me, they're living it out. Thank you for watching. Again, show your appreciation for this free, beautiful content that I provide. Just click subscribe to follow me it doesn't cost anything and hit the like button so that these videos can be populated more and get more coverage so that other Sagittarius people in YouTube can also see them thank you and continue watching the channel I'll be back with additional mid-month May updates for the rest of this week thank you bye